Hey everyone! So it's been a busy week and it's evening now so I thought I'd take you along from the last of the evening chores which is putting up the chickens and saying goodnight to the goats and I'll fill you in on what's been happening. Come along. You ready to call it a night? Gotta go put the chickens up and then I'll come say goodnight. Girls, you ready to go to bed? Put them up just right before dark every night just because we have a lot of predators around here. Bring in their food, get them a little bit of Warm to keep them warm and always do a head count. 13. Lucky 13. You all ready for bed? Yeah? Everybody's ready for bed. We have this light here put on a timer just so they get a little more daylight now that we're going into winter. It's been getting dark here around 6.45. So we have it set where it comes on around 6.30 and goes off around 8 p.m. So they just get a little more daylight, which is helping, or hopefully, will help their egg production. So that's the theory anyway. This is our first year to have chicken, so we'll know, I guess, as winter settles in. All right, good night, girls <laughs> and boy. <laughs> Close them up nice and tight. We also just put on this cover to the front of the gate there. I don't know how dark it is out here. But just kind of block the wind during the summer. Of course, that was off and it was just a screened in door so that they get plenty of airflow in there. We have two vents on both sides, the back side and the right side of the pen. And we just close up the window and now we've got that closed off. So just prepping slowly for winter. going on with the farm? Well, a few things this week. We are, well, we've just been busy in general, but we've been prepping for some new exciting things that are coming to our spring farm. Uh, some new additions, some new ventures, some new builds. <laughs> we love to do everything backwards. Um, so we have some building to do probably tomorrow. Uh, and then on Friday, we will be getting some new additions to the farm so if you've got a guess as to what that might be put it down in the comments and we'll check it out and see who's right if anybody saw our interview that we did with OMG Ozark Mountain Goats you may already have an idea of what's coming but if you haven't then it would be a surprise to you and we'll be filming that on Friday as we make a three-hour journey one way to go get these new additions so then it's just making Everything here a little more homey. Uh, one thing that we got that, hey, Theo, he's <laughs> ready, camera. Theo, that's not for you. That's not for you. Hop down. <laughs> that's filming with goats for you. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, one of the things we love watching Lubna Acres and something that he does with his goats is that he rakes all of their manure into a bucket so that he can compost it easier, maybe even do some vermiculture, something like that. And we have found that that's incredibly handy out here too. We have this extra, you know, ice scraper for the car that's got a brush on it. And it works perfectly on these stands right here because you can just roll it right off and then if anything's in the press, and it just comes off with it, so it's an easy way to keep 
our little nesty box clean. And we'll also, in the long run, just cut down on parasites and health issues that they might get by being in a dirty environment all the time. So big for quick cleanup. So really, just wanted to get on here and do a quick update. I know you haven't seen me in a couple videos. Yes, see, I asked James, can you like make one video? You know, one video. Next thing I know, I don't see him again. Just kidding. <laughs> he's made several videos now and I'm very appreciative because he's always busy and he's always doing something and it's like, hey, turn on a camera, why don't you? So he has been, which has been fantastic. So I haven't been in front of the camera much because he's been taking care of it all, which is great. But this is our nightly rituals, what we do. We come out here, say hello to the goats as we go put the chickens up and then come back in here, spend a couple minutes with them before we head off in the house for the night. As we like to call it, it's our goat therapy. When I've had a really rough day at work, nothing makes me happier than to come out here and spend some time with the animals. But quick update for you guys. Good things coming, exciting things coming. I'm excited to share it with you all. And again, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, you know, share this video on your Facebooks with your family and friends. You can also enjoy the video. And the goats and myself say goodnight. Bye guys. Bye.